So at the LA Auto Show this year, RJ, you're a big story. I mean, here you are in your mid-30s, and you've created a car company. Can you tell us a little bit about the story? Sure. So uh, the company's uh, been developing products that ultimately challenge expectations. And the products we're seeing here today are the result of hundreds of people spending thousands and thousands and thousands of hours thinking about how do we create a product that challenges the idea that you can have something that's great on-road, great off-road, carries your gear, your, your pets, your kids, and does it with pure electric drivetrain in incredible efficiency. So how did the company start and give us about uh, you know your creative uh, beginning? So I started the company quite some time back in mid-2009 and uh, arguably a very challenging time. So middle of uh, GM and Chrysler's bankruptcy, hard time to raise capital. Ultimately, the initial product was a lot different than this. It was more of a coupe product. We worked on that for a couple of years. We raised a small amount of capital, but ultimately decided to shelve that end of 2011 and shift to what we're now focused on. And over the last seven years, we developed all the technology, all the core, all the core elements to deliver this vehicle. And we wanted to wait before we showed or talked about anything until all the pieces were lined up. You know, to do this, it's very complex. You need a lot of capital. You need a manufacturing facility. You need hundreds of suppliers. You need hundreds of really talented employees to come together. So we have a 600-person team. We have a beautiful production facility uh, just south of Chicago, 2.6 million square foot facility. We've got all the supply base built out. We've got outstanding shareholders. So now we said we're finally ready to show uh, what we're working on. So we're excited to, to do that. Some people are saying you're a young Elon Musk, uh, but is that because the vehicle is electric powered, or uh, what can you tell me? Well, of course, you know, Tesla's done a great job at, at helping to make electric cars exciting and cool. Um, but in terms of, you know, in terms of how we're looking at the market, you know, they've done a great job within their segment and within the markets they're in. We're trying to go into a segment that really needs electrification, the adventure space, vehicles that can get dirty or comfortable with that more rugged environment, and that's what we developed here. So tell us, uh, I want to say what's under the hood, but maybe under the entire view. So we've got a, a very large battery pack, our biggest being 180 kilowatt hours. That delivers more than 400 miles of range in both our truck and our SUV. So the truck uh, also, and the, the truck and the SUV also deliver very quick acceleration. Zero, so zero to 60 in, in less than three seconds, zero to 100 miles per hour in less than seven seconds. But it does that in a very refined fashion. So the way the vehicle drives and feels is more like a sports sedan than a truck. So over your shoulder here, we're looking at the actual batteries uh, in the vehicle, right? Yeah, so this is what we would call a skateboard. And you can see in the middle of the skateboard, one of our battery systems. And then on the ends, there's two motors per axle. And we precisely control the torque to each wheel with that setup. So we can very easily manage off-road environments in ways that vehicles on the road today simply can't. All right, uh, price, uh, launch, uh, production goals, uh, what's the plan? So the, the, the SUV, which we're seeing here, uh, starting price after the federal tax incentive is $65,000. The truck, the R1S, or the R1T, starts at 61.5, and those will be in the market roughly two years from now. So second half of 2020, we're taking pre-orders now, so we're starting to interact with our, our first customers, which is exciting. Uh, but the deliveries won't occur until second half of 2020. Okay, give us the uh, website. Where, where do I order one? Just go to Rivian.com. Is there a story behind the name Rivian? It's a, it's a mashup of words. It takes the word Indian River, which I grew up on as a kid, and it takes the first three letters of the word river and the last three letters of the word Indian and combines them into one. So at this point, you're private with a lot of VC money. Is there anything beyond that on the financial side? We're very well financed. We've got uh, investors that have come into this and really committed to build the company, allowed us to be very quiet and focus on the internal operations, the technology, the product, the, the organization, without having to go out and talk about that until it was ready. So we'll see you in two years on the road in production with this vehicle. Yeah, and you'll see we, there has been some sneak, uh, leaked pictures of vehicles testing on the roads. Uh, you'll start to see a lot more of that very soon. So the two we see here, is there more or what? Well, certainly, yes. Yeah. So we've been testing for the last several years all the core technologies in the vehicle, the battery, the drivetrain summer testing, winter testing, uh, so it's a very robust platform. So it could be in a sedan, it could come out in any shape or form? Uh, well for us, our brand is really focused on what we think about in terms of the adventure space. So vehicles that are designed to go on any surface. Uh, but the skateboard, what we see behind us, that's something that we do actually, uh, we are actually using and selling to other manufacturers and other applications. Ah, 
it. So are you collaborating with any big name manufacturers and any legacy brands? Not anything that we're discussing today. We're, we're, those are all very, um, very confidential relationships.